GothMath helps with your math. Welcome to GothMath. In this video, we're going to introduce a key skill called the rationalization of denominator. What does rationalization mean? We know that the correct output of radical simplifications shouldn't have any radicals in the denominator. To rationalize denominator means to eliminate any radical expressions in the denominator under the premise that the value of the expression remains unchanged. By doing this, we convert the denominator into rational numbers or integrals. So how do we achieve that? Let's do a radical simplification. For example, in this expression, we've multiplied the numerator and the denominator by a square root of 5 at the same time. The denominator turned from irrational square root of 5 into rational number 5. This is rationalization of the denominator. The key point of this whole process is to find a number or an expression that can turn the irrational denominator into the rational form after multiplication. In this case, the denominator and numerator were both multiplied with a square root of 5 so that the radical sign in the denominator was eliminated. The value of the original expression is unchanged, and therefore the rationalization of denominator is completed. For a simple denominator like the square root of 5, all we have to do is to multiply the irrational number by itself. However, for an irrational expression like this one, the denominator is the difference between the square root of 5 and the square root of 3. Which multiplier should we use then? The answer is D. No matter which number we choose from, A, B, C, the denominator result from the multiplication will still be radicals. Especially option C. After we square the denominator, though the square root of 5 and square root of 3 turn into integers 5 and 3, the expansion of the difference of squares contains a radical term. Are there any multiplication formulas that can result in square terms only with no radical products? Oh yeah! The formula of the difference of squares satisfies this requirement. The product contains two squares with no radical terms. By using the formula, we should multiply the denominator by square root of 5 plus square root of 3. In this way, the denominator turns into the difference of 5 and 3, which is 2. The radical sign disappeared! Hooray! Since both the numerator and denominator contains 2, we can simplify the fraction. Thus, the final result is square root of 5 plus square root of 3. To summarize, when the denominator is the difference or sum of two radicals, there are only three steps we need to take to rationalize it. First, based on the formula of the difference of squares, we need to find the other factor of the denominator. Then, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by this factor. Finally, we simplify the fraction by canceling common factors. Let's try this question. Mm, which one is the correct answer? Options A, B, C are all wrong. The answer is D. The denominator is square root of 2 minus square root of 5. The factor in pair with the denominator is square root of 2 plus square root of 5. Multiply it with both the numerator and denominator, then calculate the new denominator. Attention! Options A, B, C were wrong due to this step. According to the formula of the difference of squares, the denominator equals the square of square root of 2 minus the square of square root of 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. After simplifying the fraction, we get the final answer, negative 2 times the sum of the square root of 2 and the square root of 5. Never let down your guard in any step. 
have questions about rationalizing denominators, find an expert to help you on our app, Goth Math, homework solvers step by step.